We are Madison Taylor, a design firm specializing in high-end architectural, landscape, and interior design. Each year, we select a few exclusive integrated design and build projects that we carry from concept to completion. We are bringing you behind the scenes as we take on these unique projects. Watch as our team creates and delivers the final masterpiece. We're really excited about this project. It's got such a great location. You're at the very, very end of King's Farm Road in Port Severn. So you're kind of nestled in this five acre property, tons of privacy, tons of trees. So it's really quite beautiful. And then even when you arrive at the cottage, you've got this nice kind of rolling driveway that gets you into the cottage. So you've almost got this experience before you even get there, which is really cool. It's like, you know, you leave home, you leave work, you leave school, you get to the cottage and you have this sense of shedding, even just getting up the driveway. It's so busy in the construction industry. Availability and getting equipment has actually been quite challenging. We like to get ahead of the game. When you're dealing with COVID, we just don't know the expectations of timelines on products right now. And also, we already know what the products are, so there's no reason that we can't go ahead and start ordering everything and having it kind of ready and available so that we don't have those slowdowns in the project. What I'm doing here today is I'm, I'm kind of flipping through just cross, you know, cross-referencing like what's in the plans, what the samples are, making sure that everything is ready to go so that we can start moving into purchase orders. My name's Chris. I work at Madison Taylor. I'm the project manager on this uh, lovely home behind us. Been with Madison Taylor for about two years now. So right now I'm project managing and helping with Lumberworks the Framer on the day-to-day -day operations of the project. I do the estimating, the scheduling, and on top of that, I'm helping with any needs or requirements that need to be addressed or fixed. Due to the half loads and such, we're not legally allowed to bring a 30-ton crane down the road right now. Lumberworks had to use their zoom boom to put in a steel beam. Lumberworks has been doing a beautiful job framing. All the walls are like bang on straight. So today I decided to put too many things in one day. So to try to dress for a client and then a site, it's, uh, I wore black at least. So if I get dirty, you know, it's black. This project specifically was actually in the middle of the transition of one of our new departments. We decided to add landscape architecture to our team. And this house is a perfect example of why. When you're designing architecture and you're designing a building, there's so much to understand about the ground around it and all the things that need to happen for drainage, landscape features, and all these different things, especially on these properties that have blasting or high water tables or you know interesting ground materials like lots of clay. There's just so much that you often have to work with that typically gets dealt with on site. And again, fine, but you know, we'd rather be more proactive in the way that we're planning so that we have solutions for these things and budgets for these things before we even get to them. So having Zach on the team has been so amazing and I think he's really enjoying being part of these initial stages. It's a really cool experience being involved at this stage of construction, being able to put plans in place during construction so that you're not just left with a landscaping situation at the end once people are moved in and then you have a whole uh, whole project in your hands. We have like a very cool site here, but that comes with a set of challenges. A lot of bedrock, a lot of topography. It's a very steep sloping site coming down towards the house here. After blasting and doing some initial site works and now with the house set, we got to plan for the landscape and, and everything like that just to make sure we can get water moving where it's got to go. Up to date, I've kind of done a lot of conceptual designs and now we're at the phase of kind of construction drawing where we got to put the plans in place. Nice to be out on site right now and get away from the desk. One of our favorite things to work with on designing you know, many of our homes is trying to find a way to incorporate that natural environment into the home. There's a couple different ways of doing that. Obviously, when it's naturally surrounding you, it makes it quite easy. So we always max out a lot of our houses with tons of windows. I mean, especially on this type of property, like privacy is really not an issue. 
being able to just give you the biggest window sizes that we can is just naturally going to bring all those beautiful textures and colors into the home. Checking out on site today, I mean, we're right on track. We're right on time. And I mean, we've definitely had some things that have sort of pushed us to potentially cause delays, but we've really been able to overcome that. We've got great crews here that are working really, really quickly. I think because we knew what we were up against with COVID and the delays, like we've really got ahead of ordering materials and ordering products. We're really excited. We always had a November move-in deadline and we're right on target with that deadline. So really excited to see the progress and what's happening on site so far.